Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to go over blend mode and uh, where you're going to find blend mode is over here in your layers panel right next to opacity and uh, by default it should be selected to a normal. Uh, the first thing you need to know about blend mode is there is a bunch of different blend modes and there's two things that blend modes can vary for. It's going to ma uh, whatever's going to matter is going to be what color your objects that you're blending are and uh, your position of layer. So we're going to start here. I have uh, this apple that's uh, Amp's apples right here. And uh, we're going to select it. There's the layer. Uh, we're going to come over to the layer panel and select right here. And uh, we're going to come down and we're going to sample some of the blend modes. Uh, the first blend mode we're going to go over is multiply. And for this, it's not a very useful thing, but uh, multiply will. Uh, take whatever you are doing and it will change, it will combine the layers uh, for a darker effect. And then the opposite of this is screen and it will combine the layers and make a lighter. Um, the difference panel right here is uh, this will combine the colors and uh, have the difference and all the layers underneath. Um, uh, this is very useful if you're having something light on something dark. It makes a really cool effect for that. Uh, these are just uh, all of the ones you can have. You can just play around with all of these. And um, they're quite useful for a variety of different uh, effects. Uh, but uh, let's see what happens if we, we can select our little thing right here. We have a little uh, vector shape, little wave thing that I kind of just drew up earlier. And uh, right now it's on pass-through, but you can see all of these cool effects that uh, you can add to it. So something like subtract is going to uh, take out all of the uh, color and make for a sort of uh, a blacker color. And uh, if you come up to color, you can even change the right here in your color slider so you can make something like look like sort of a rotten apple and then you can even clean up this if you wanted to make something look like a rotten apple right here um, there's a bunch of different uh, uses for it uh, there's this one and right now it's on dark color and uh, that is because it is on um, black but let's change this uh, layer to something a little brighter. Let's change it to yellow. And yeah, you can come up here and play around. But uh, you can change all these different uh, blend modes to make uh, different effects. And uh, this is really useful if you have really a lot of layers um, things like brochures use uh, something like this. Uh, if you want to combine uh, different layers in photos or th logos to make a sort of textured or layered effect, uh, the blend mode is really useful. Uh, it's useful for combining things uh, of two different images. So if you have one image of, say, something like uh, a flower from a foreign land and you plant it in... Uh, a different area that's not supposed to be in uh, it's useful for combining these type of layers to kind of overlay them so it the picture flows better um, there's a bunch of different things uh, if you play around uh, the basics should are really all you need to know if you play around you should be fine with everything um, it's really about what you need for your specific uh, project so uh, if you come over here and you deselect these layers, it's just going to go back to normal. So uh, you can just play around, make multiple different layers. Um, and uh, that's it for blend mode. So if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe um, for more Affinity tutorials. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.